we're like well underway in this project. So far, so good. I'm already finding out that it's a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm still feeling pretty excited about it. And so. I have to admit, I had a total meltdown the other night. I came in here and felt totally overwhelmed and almost remorseful <laughs> for having started such a big project. And we've been getting along pretty good on this project, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't even had a big fight yet. <laughs> That's pretty good for us. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Michelle, and a few years ago, I was a single mom to Lincoln, Ava, and my stepdaughter, Gracie. This is Kelly, and he was busy single dadding his boys, Ethan and Wyatt. Fast forward a few short years, we met, bought a house together, got engaged, got married, and are now living the most beautiful adventure of our lives. Now don't get me wrong, being blended is not always easy, and we certainly aren't perfect, but follow along with us as we live our happily blended ever after. Hey guys, so welcome to Happily Blended Ever After. We're really excited right now because we just bought ourselves an RV. We went in and got something that was secondhand so that I didn't feel too bad doing the renovations I want to do on it. And we've got some big plans this summer with our RV. I'm so excited. We're going to be adventuring around BC for a whole month, which is amazing. So come, I'll show you how it looks right now and I'll tell you what I have planned. So it's a 29 foot RV. We did get a travel trailer so that we could pull it with the truck and put things in the back of the truck as well. Um, so this is a 2007 model. I'm so excited because I grew up camping and it's really important to me, a really important memory of my childhood because it was when I got my parents at their best. We're really excited because we have a lot of kids and life can be super busy with sports and activities. And for us, this really means quality time, uh, electronic free time, just really connecting. And that's what's really important to our family. So come on in. This is our travel trailer. So one of the things we're super excited about is that it has the bench and I love this big horseshoe bench because we have so many children so we have four kids Kelly and I I Kelly has two he's got two boys and I have a boy and a girl also from a previous marriage I have two other stepkids so all together we have six children that um, come visit us and it's kind of crazy we're like super blended I always call us a beautiful mosaic so we wanted to get a trailer that would work for us just in case everybody was with us but we do have all four kids quite often so this is a must because all six of us um, can sit down and eat together. Uh, up here is the bedroom. I don't know if you guys can see in there. It's pretty tight, but we love that it has a door so we get to have a little bit of privacy from our crazy family when we're out adventuring. That was a, one of the things on the list for me. This is the couch. It pulls out to a bed and one of our kids is gonna have to sleep here, probably Lincoln, because he's the tallest. So they call that a jackknife bed. I'm probably going to want to recover this burgundy special. And it's pretty easy to use. Of course, you can see the living area. We have a kitchen. We've got a fridge that runs on propane and also on electricity. So that's good because we're going to be doing some backwoods camping in lots of sites that don't have any services. So we want to make sure that that runs on propane. And back here is the bunkhouse. Of course, this was totally necessary for us. So we've got a small bunk on the top, which is where Ava's going to sleep. And then we've got a larger bunk on the bottom, which is where two of the boys will sleep. And this was probably our favorite part of the entire camper and probably the reason we bought this model. One, we bought this model because it's an ultra light and it comes in at 5,000 pounds for 29 feet, which was huge for us because usually a 29 footer comes in around like seven or 8,000 pounds. And that's really pushing it for the truck that we have. We do have a Ford F-150 2.7 liter EcoBoost. So we went with a smaller truck um, so that it would give us good fuel mileage for the rest of the year, but also be able to pull 8,000 pounds. So we chose an ultralight trailer, which is great because it's light, but there is some drawbacks because nothing's real wood. So this is like a malamine or whatever you call that. Um, and everything just is made to look like wood. So we're gonna see how that goes with the reno. But here is the wonderful bathroom. And I love this bathroom 
because it's close to where the kids sleep so they can use it at night. And also too, it is has its own door to the outside, which is really cool because when we're outside camping, what, what happens with camping if you guys have never camped before is that you live outside most of the time. You cook outside, you eat outside, you play cards outside. And so when people come into the trailer, it really is only because they need to use the washroom. So it's really cool that we're gonna be able to just pop in here without any of the mess. Just come straight in, use the washroom, and not have to track all that dirt all around the trailer. Okay, so let's talk renos. Kelly thinks I'm a little crazy. But I have a vision and it's going to be so beautiful. So what I want to do, and we've already researched it, so because this isn't wood, we're going to have to use an oil-based primer, probably two coats, and then I'm going to actually paint the cabinets white. And I know a lot of people think that's crazy because we're going to be camping and it's going to be dirty, but we have white in our house with four kids and it's wonderful. You can see the dirt easily. It's easy to wipe it up and it just really makes this space look a lot bigger. So we're going to paint the cabinets white. I'm going to definitely paint out the knobs as well. Uh, probably into a black because we've got a lot of black accents. We're going to take the fridge panels and paint those out white as well. I'm debating between uh, either a really light gray for the walls or a white. So we'll see. We might end up all white. We might end up gray with a little bit of white. We'll see how that goes. I am going to look into recovering this sofa. I do see that it's in two pieces. So I'm not sure I have the technology to do it, but with YouTube, I feel like anything could be possible. The flooring in the bathroom is something that I'm going to address. I'm really actually quite excited about it. There's a peel and stick tile that you can get on Amazon and it is going to make it look like a marble in there. So that's going to be really nice, really easy to keep clean as well because you see the dirt. Um, it's just really easy to wipe and everything like that. You can actually grout it so it stays um, definitely waterproofed, which is awesome. So that's what we're going to do. You can see these valances. I don't know if you can see in the bathroom here, but everywhere has these beautiful burgundy valances and I'm actually going to chalk paint those. I've seen people do it a lot and uh, it looks great and I know that sounds crazy, but that's my plan with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this if there's a special paint that will paint plastic. Okay guys, quick update. So I have taken all the valances off and I'm ready to chalk paint those. I am going to start with one cabinet. So I took off the cabinet in the kids room because if it turns out horrible, it's just their room. <laughs> so what I need to do now is make sure that oil based paint will stick to this so that I can put the white on here because if it doesn't, I'm going to leave the natural wood color in here and I'm going to do the walls a white. If it does and I can paint these white, then I'm going to do the walls a light gray. So it kind of like really comes down to this. I've also got the mattresses out of the bed and the door off. And now I need to take a trip to the hardware store to get um, oil based primer. Um, really, I just need to see if the primer sticks. So I'm not even going to worry about the paint. And I think that's all I've got to get. Oh, some painter's tape. So I'm going to start taping everything right away. Some rollers. And uh, if the oil-based primer works, I also want to find out if I need to use an oil-based primer on the walls. I feel like it's probably going to be my best bet, even though it's harder to clean up. Um, it's probably going to be the one that sticks the best. So stay tuned. I'm headed to Home Depot. Okay, so update on uh, the trailer reno. I'm already finding out that it's a lot more work than I thought it was going to be, but I'm still feeling pretty excited about it. So I have the valances off as I showed you earlier. Um, I've got a cupboard already, one of the cupboard doors already primed and it's sticking really, really well, even though it's not fake wood. So that's exciting. And I'm just going through the whole trailer right now and um, taping out all of the things that I don't want to get painted. And I'm going to hopefully get that done tonight and maybe even start priming the walls tonight, which is going to be so exciting. Okay, so the taping is coming along nicely. You can see back there. I've got a helper that I recruited doing cabinet doors right now, which I'm so grateful for. And I've just marked out which walls we don't want to paint because we'll be putting tile there. 
And that's our progress report. So we wanted to just come on and do a quick update about day one. Um, day one was awesome. We tried to get the worst work possible done while we were still excited about the renovation. Well, I should stay while well, I was still excited about the renovation. Are you excited about this? So excited. <laughs> uh, Kelly gets it. He knows that when I have a project, I'm happy and everything's good in the household. And um, it just brings a lot of joy to me. So he's such a sport with helping me with my crazy ideas. And he went through and took all the cabinets off yesterday, which really was big a big, big help. And also helped me with the taping. So we're all done that. Kelly's gonna go to the gym right now and I am going to get going with, I think I'll start in here and then while I'm waiting for this to dry, if I get it done, I will then start the cabinets. Or I might do a few cabinets, whatever fits on our sawhorses first and then start painting in here and then rotate and have those cabinets drying throughout the day. I'm always trying to be the most efficient as I can. Do you have anything to add? Are you? No, ready? I'm just gonna let you go do your thing. And he's gonna come help me later. <laughs> yeah, I'll come help. Okay, bye guys. Good morning guys. So today is day two and we got quite a bit done yesterday. We got all the cushions out. Um, the taping is done finally. The cabinets are off thanks to my amazing husband. And today I should get to start painting. And as I look at this project I realize, oh my gosh, it's so much. It's so much. Um, but I feel like I just am a big believer in the Tony Robbins theory about progress equals happiness. And when I have a project like this to work on, it just fills me up. I dream about it, I plan it, I shop on Amazon for it, and it's just like a really big part of, you know, staying in that really happy, abundant vibe. And it doesn't have to cost a lot. I'm going to be probably doing this whole renovation for about $400. Um, but it's just the act of planning and executing for me that just gives me this like deep, deep happiness. So um, I'll just quickly show you. We got the cushions off the bench. The poles that are going here with this table, we're actually going to spray paint black. And I decided I'm going to chalk paint. I did a lot of research. I'm actually going to chalk paint the entire dinette. So I will definitely do a video about that on its own. Um, we took the doors off of the fridge. If you guys don't know, if you ever do a, a RV reno, you can just clip off the top piece on a fridge, slide out the panel and paint it whatever color you want. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna put some plastic down on the floor and I'm gonna get going with the painting. So stay tuned for a progress report. I'll definitely be updating you later. So I'm in the garage, I've got all the cabinets in here and what you want to do with any sort of laminate cabinetry is paint with an oil based primer because it sticks to pretty much everything. Um, some people do like to sand, I'm choosing not to because it's going to save a big step and I've got really strong bonding primer. So um, this is what I'm using and I'm going to do one coat, it dries in an hour so I'll do I go in and basically cut in any details on the cabinet with a brush and then I'm going to use a roller on the rest of the cabinet and then uh, once these dry I get to put my color on and I'll talk more about the paint I chose for that then. Alright so we're coming to the end of day two and you guys can see it's starting to look so good in here. I'm so happy with it. This is not the color it's going to be when we're done. We're probably going to go with the light gray, but you can already see that having this light color on the walls just opens up the space so much. It makes it feel so big and airy, and I cannot wait for the beach feel that we're going to have at the end result. Well, did you want the experience of like doing it yourself? Yeah, I did. It gives me a lot of happiness doing it. Oh 
Okay, I don't even know what day I'm on in here, but it's a bit like spring cleaning where it feels like it's getting worse before it gets better. Um, and I have to admit, I had a total meltdown the other night. I decided I would paint late in one evening, which is a bad idea because I was tired. And we had had baseball all day and I came in here and felt totally overwhelmed and almost remorseful <laughs> for having started such a big project. But my son actually, Lincoln, I wish I would have got a picture of him or some video of him here in the in the camper. But he came in and he's like, Mom, just think about how it's going to feel when you look at the before and after photos. And you'll be so satisfied when you get to put cushions on the new couch and everything's the color you want it. And you know that that's going to be worth it. And I was like, I know, Lincoln, but it just feels like so much work. I'm not even done the primer. And I've been in here, it feels like forever. And he's like, Mom, you've only actually been at it for two good solid days. And if you get at it again, it's probably going to be like a good solid week of work and you're going to be done and loving it. And I honestly was so blown away. I mean, he's 10 years old. I couldn't believe how empathetic he was and, and what a grounding um, energy he is for me. He's a Capricorn. So I know that um, that grounding earth energy is something that I need when I bite off a project like this. So just a little update. I am done all of the primer in this part of the uh, trailer. <clears throat> I have the bedroom mostly painted and then but still have to do the edging and a little bit of the cabinetry in there. The bathroom is not even started so that's what I'm going to get after the bedroom and the bathroom today. I have to edge the kids bedroom as well and then I'm done with primer. So my goal is and this is my third full day is to get all of the primer done today and maybe even start on the first coat of paint on the cabinets. I'm really excited and a little nervous. I don't want any brush lines to come through. I want them to look really good. And I know it's just a trailer, but um, I'm a bit nervous of how this primer is going to cover. It's kind of gone on um, because of the roller. It's got a texture to it. So I'll keep you posted as to how that's going to turn out. I also learned uh, through watching some YouTube videos that I should not be using a paintbrush for the edging and I do need to use a foam brush. brush. I got the two different sizes. And this is what I'm going to do the edging on the cabinet tree with because it goes on more even without those brush lines. And I'm also going to start doing the edging in the trailer with these foam brushes. So wish me luck. I'm almost done the lowest reward part of this project. After when I, Once I start doing the real pink colors, I think it's going to be a lot better. And stay tuned because I'm really in a dilemma right now. I have not chosen a color for the walls yet. And I'm torn between doing a nautical like ocean theme in here so um, you know you can see here in this photo that it's got like that nice nautical sort of compass image on one of the walls and doing some dark blues maybe some dark blue even on the cabinetry so that would be um, the nautical look or and the one I'm leaning towards probably because it's my comfort zone and it's what my house is decorated in is the like white creamy beachy look um, with pops of teal, uh, shiplap, and just that really soft look. And I think I'm leaning towards that one. So if I do that, then what I'm going to do is do my couches in a kind of medium gray <coughs> and then just add accents of teal throughout the camper. So I think I'm leaning towards that one. I would love to see the comments below with which one you would choose. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get this day started. Everybody. we wanted to tune in and give you guys an update we haven't been filming a ton because today we had the most productive day ever we actually got into the trailer and Kelly helped me all day which was amazing and we actually purchased the real the the right tools today and that's kind of what I wanted to speak to a little bit in this video because God spending a couple bucks can make a project so much easier. So we found these little edging tools that have wheels on them for going around the roof and the walls um, just to put a really thick layer of paint so you don't have to do three or four coats on your edging. And then I was on the roller and we also got one that does corners so it does both of the sides and it just goes 
all the way down. Amazing, totally worth the money. So these are the tools I was referring to in the video. So this is the edger. Um, I just hold on to it like this. And then these wheels spin as it meets the edge of a surface so that you can get really close. This is the uh, paint brush that you'll attach to this device. And then you just dip it into the paint and go ahead and roll it onto the surface right near the edge. Um, this is the corner tool, uh, 90 degree angle. And then what you would do is you would put a pad on this side and this side. You dip it like that, dip it, scrape off the excess, and then you just go right down the corner um, and just, it's so easy and saves so much time and puts a really nice thick, even layer of paint onto your surface. And I would recommend if you're doing any wall painting at all to buy these tools. They are so worth it. So Kelly did that, I went through and rolled, we did the entire trailer with one coat and it went on so well on top of the oil-based primer that we don't even know if we're gonna do a second coat. We're gonna wait and have a look tomorrow. I know the edge edges uh, do need some second coats, I would say, right? A little bit, yeah. But I think the walls are gonna be good, which is awesome. And for that, we did Painter's White. We used Bear Paint uh, from Home Depot. And it's just a little bit of an off-white. It's looking pretty nice in there. Already the trailer's looking so big and airy. I cannot wait to change the burgundy couches, you guys. I'm starting to get excited about the finishing touches now that we kind of have the bigger work well underway. And then tonight, we went through and we actually painted all of our cabinets. So the primer was scaring me a little bit because it looked really patchy. And also you could scratch it off a little bit with your nail if you wanted to. And I was so concerned about whether or not the paint was gonna stick. So uh, we rolled on top of it anyways. It went on really nice. We did, we did an alkyd paint from Bear in um, Glacial Mist. And there wasn't a lot of colors in that, but they recommended it for cabinets to give it that really like hard sort of lacquer finish. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. I, again, I don't even think we're gonna do a second coat because they look great. And we're just gonna spray paint the knobs black and then add them on and it's gonna give it a really modern look. Um, it's kind of bad lighting in here, but maybe turn it like this way. Yeah, you can see the light shine off it. Yeah, so it turned out really well. And so yeah, it's Friday, so we decided to have a beer. That's what Kelly and I do on Friday nights. And tonight it just happened to be in the garage because I love doing projects together. Um, we've got the music on. Kelly's been helping like an awesome, awesome husband. And we're like well underway in this project. I think that tomorrow we're gonna paint the cabinet boxes. Yeah. And then it's on to chalk painting the fabric, which I'm gonna do a totally different video on. So I don't know, how do you think the project's been going, babe? So far, so good. What feedback would you give to any husbands out there that uh, their wife says they want to paint the RV? Um, have patience and <laughs> use your mechanical knowledge. <laughs> yeah, look at the look at the tables that he made for me. I didn't have any tables in the garage, and I was painting on our, like the cat litter box is something that I was putting cabinets on top of. And he's like, "Oh, babe," and he came in here and rigged up all kinds of different things there's garbage cans with a water gun holding up a ladder which ended up giving me all of the space to do all the cabinets tonight and i thought that i would have to wait and do these cabinets over the period of a good two days because of having to move people move them out once they're dry and then put the new ones on top of the one little table space i had so kelly's mechanical knowledge has been awesome that's great advice anything else yeah you just want to save your back any way you can you don't want to be squatting or on your knees that's for sure so just find what you have around the house and be smart. We have an extension ladder on two garbage cans here, so we don't have to bend over. It's right at chest height, which is perfect. And we've been getting along pretty good on this project, would you say? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't even had a big fight yet. <laughs> That's pretty good for us. Yeah. <laughs> I love doing projects together. Like for me, this is my love language, acts of service. So when Kelly gets in like shoulder to shoulder with me and we're doing something together, nothing makes me happier. Nothing makes me more fond of having the most amazing husband because I was a single mom for four years. And so I did all of these blue jobs. I retiled our fireplace. I did a lot of the stuff, but it sucks doing it by yourself. And I don't have the same mechanical knowledge that Kelly has. And he'll just go out and get a tool. For example, there was a board 
across a sawhorse table that I had three cabinet doors on and the board was loose and I was just like being really careful and painting around and I almost dropped cabinets off of it three or four times and Kelly went and got a clamp. He's like, what are you doing, babe? And then he just clamped down the board onto the sawhorse table and it just, honestly, you guys, you know, it just makes me feel so grateful, simple little things like that, not having to do all the blue jobs by myself and getting to have the design vision and then having this amazing man help me execute it. It's pretty cool. I love how C clamps can impress her. <laughs> it's a really easy way to get good points with me. <laughs> so anyways, happy Friday to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I cannot wait to reveal this RV to you. Mm -hmm.